Audio check one two three. Audio check one two three. Good evening, sports fans, and welcome to the Lampkin Sports Network. Tonight's action is between the 10 and 2 Fort Collins Lampkins and the 5 and 6 Prairie View Thunderhawks. Just getting the starting lineups going. So there's the starting lineups. We have Lampkin's typical starting lineup. King Corner, Cottingham, Wagstaff, and Mitchell. Prairie View does not have their heights on the program, so I'm not sure how we're going to stack up height-wise, but 33 looks like a pretty tall kid, as is our 33. So we'll see how it plays out. Lampkins win the tip. Mitchell quickly to Cottingham over to Wagstaff. Cross corner over to King. Reset, over to Andrew. Looks like they're in a some sort of a zone. Jamar probes, nothing there. Backs it out looking for Luke, nothing there. It's a 2 3 zone. Luke. It's a nice fast down to Andrew Corner for two points. Good high low action. Lampkins come out in their typical man to man defense. Double team stolen by the Lampkins over to Cottingham. 
Gets a poke, maintains possession. Ellie with the quack step is good for two more points. The blow by, looking at three, not there. Three sets. Charge the lane, travel. Sean Salinas Johnston, the senior, tried to drive the lane but got taken away. Put four up there. Hit two twice. Jamar gets it inside over to Andrew in the corner. He's going to shoot a three point shot. It's going to be short. Rebound goes to Anthony Ribari of the Thunderhawks. Thunderhawks set up top. They're playing a five out defense or offense. Usually when they do this five out, they try to take their man one on one. Kicks to the corner, tries to go baseline there. The two footer, no good. Rebound goes to the Lampkins. Here comes Andrew over to Luke. He's going to get it to Joe. Over to Jace, who's going to shoot the three point shot. It's going to be no good. Rebound's going to go to Cottingham. King's going to drive, dump down the light, Wagstaff, who gets fouled. They call a charge on him. What kind of charge is that? What kind of call is that? This guy. I know Luke's big and strong, but that was ridiculous. So that'll be his first foul. Lampkins are setting up with some full court pressure. They just cleared out and they're going to let the Thunderhawk set up. The pick and the roll is not there. Good defense by the Lampkins. Get past. Pump fake. It's going to be a travel. He's dribbled. Or he took a step before he dribbled. Poor guy. Quality move, he had a step, but it is what it is. King sets it up, working around, trying to probe this 2-3 defense. But just working around, trying to find something inside. Gets it down to Luke, he's going to spin it. Double team, kicks it out to Jace, he's going to shoot the 19-foot shot. It's going to be good. Two-point shot for Jace. What was on the line? Two points. Lampkins up 6 nothing with 4.55 left in the first quarter. Cottingham with the tight defense. The dribble drive. The block. It's going to be out of bounds. It's going to stay right here with Fairview. It was off what, either Jamar or Joe, one of the Lampkins. Quality defense. Number 10, Rashawn, has some quicks. Kick it to the wing. Picking the roll, the double team. Stolen by King. Gets it over to Wagstaff. The layup is good. Luke Wagstaff. Cottingham trying to catch up with Rashawn. Stolen by King. He's got Luke. Two on one. Gets it over to him. Another layup. Two points Luke Wagstaff. We have a timeout on the floor. Prairie View coach does not like what he sees. It's eight, ten nothing Lampkins. Quickly, 10 nothing, in a timeout with 4.19 left in the first quarter. Lampkins are going to run him out of the gym at this pace. So in the first few minutes of the game, Luke Wagstaff has six points already. Chase has two, Andrew has two. And Jamar and Joe have yet to score, but they will soon. So the Lampkins clearly are affecting Purvey with their tight defense. Purvey's not sure what to do with the ball. They're trying to do this one-on-one stuff that doesn't work. They haven't hit a shot. And have turned the ball over several times. Pressure defense is getting to him already. See if that. See if the coach can get him to uh, 
take a deep breath and settle down. But right now the Lampers haven't played at their pace, and that's what we want. Head coach for Prairie View is Damian Romero. Assisted by George Ramirez and Alex Bush. Jacob Romero and Elijah Dost Rojas. High defense by Andrew. Picks it. Stolen. Layup. Two more points. Andrew Corner. Defense turns into offense. Lampkins are going to pressure full court. Rashawn blow by. He goes right into Luke. Gets it, gets it bumped. Two shots at point blank. Don't go. Jamar with the rebound. Gets up to Joe. Or Luke, who gets it to Jace over to Andrew. Keeps his foot down. It's going to be out of bounds. It should stay right here. But it doesn't. It goes back to Fairview. Prairie, Prairie View. I'm sorry. Not Fairview. You said it's the Boulder Rights. King with the tip. Or Cunningham with the tip. Point guard with has some quicks, like I said. The pick and the roll was there. Hits the number 33. Chavez, who made the basket. So the Thunderhawks are on the board. Still down 10 with 313 left in the first quarter. Pass trying to get it into Wagstaff. Gets it to Jamar, gets it tipped. It's going to be on the ground. It's going to be a jump ball. It should be Prairie View's ball since Lampard's won the tip. Just getting underway here at the Lamb Shack. Thanks for joining us tonight. Should be an exciting game. Lampkins come in rolling. That's a quality wins over the last couple of weeks. Cunningham with this steal attempt not there. It's going to be moved around to give and the go and the layup. Pump fake. Luke joins the pair of two from Club. And... Brenda Ragos with a two-point shot for the Thunderhawks. Working around, gets down to Luke. He's going to get Jamar stolen off of Jamar's leg. It's going to go over to Prairie View. First up into the game for the Thunderhawks is number 40. Angel Rodriguez. Could be Angel, but we'll go with Angel. He's a big dude. And number 55, Andrew Holman, a junior. Lampkins are going to pick him up at half court this time, staying in their man-to-man -man defense. Forty's a big dude out there. It's a big pick and roll. Found a gap in the defense. The lab was there, but no good. It's going to be Prairie View ball. If Prairie View can hit some laps, they're going to be right in this game. They just haven't been able to cash in on their opportunities just yet, but we got a long way to go. Holman walked, got away with it. Here comes the pick and roll by the big man. Double teamed. Re recover, recover. Three point shot attempt is going to be on the way in. No good. Rebound is going to go to Wagstaff. Gets it quickly up to Andrew, who's going to drive the, drive the defense. Takes it himself for the layup. Two points to Andrew Corner. Salinas Johnson with the drive. Dumped off the Ragos. Rogos. Rojos. He has two more points. Good defense. Stolen. Stolen back by Luke. Gets it out to Cottingham. He thought about three, but then Luke with the quick spin. He's going to have a two-point shot. Basket. And the foul. The quick spin move always works for Luke. Going to cash that in and go to the free throw line for one. Checking into the game for well, Javon Bruden is going to check back into the game. He's a sophomore. Uh, I think, hold on. Can't, 
I think they have two number twos. Technical foul. Technical foul on uh, Purview Thunder Hawks. They checked in a guy with the same number. So a uniform violation is going to get him. So Luke's going to go to the line for at least two shots and maybe three. First shot on the way is good. Second free throw attempt is not good. We'll get one more. And misses the third. So it will be four columns ball at the side. On the side. I'm sorry. That was, I don't know what the technical is for. That guy's number three. His name is Laquan Lee. Maybe they got him for checking in too early. I'm not sure what. Or they called the T. Anyway, they did. And Chase tried to get it. Oh, the quick outlet. Goes over to Bruden. Two points. Two and three's numbers look alike. I got confused there. My, my apologies. Luke with the quick spin move gets fouled. He's going to go to the line again. No, it's on the floor. On the floor, it's called. He will not go to the line. He will actually... It'll be out of bounds underneath for the Lampkins. Try to get it into the corner to Jace King. He's going to get it to Luke. He's going to shoot the three-point shot on the way and Not good. It's going to be rebounded by the Hawks. Going the other way is Johnston with the behind-the-back move all the way to the basket. No good. Rebound to Jamar Mitchell. He's going to push it up. Time. No numbers. He should just pull out and run the offense. But Luke has other ideas. He gets it to Jace. He's going to set it up. Jamar had good position inside. Misses the layup. Rebound to Thunderhawks. Johnston with the move. He's going to go to the rim. Nope. Get those away. Jamar Mitchell with the steal. Twenty-five seconds left in the quarter. Twenty-five seconds. It looks like the Lampkins are going to play for the last shot. Skip past the Cottingham over to King. Fifteen seconds. They usually go with about ten. Ten seconds. Nine. Five. Gets it down to Luke. He's going to need to shoot. Gets it to Jamar for the quick layup. Two points to Jamar Mitchell at the buzzer. Good share in the ball. So at, at the end of first quarter, it is your Fort Collins Lampkins 19. Fairview Thunderhawks 8. So good quality opening quarter for the Lampkins, both offensively and defensively. Get 19 points and hold Prairie View to, to 8. So we're about ready for some second quarter action. Prairie View, I wish they had their heights in the program, but they don't. That's okay, but they look like they can match us a little bit. They have some quickness on their team. But the Lampkins trapping defense has caused some problems. But like I said before, if a pair of you hit some layups, it's going to be a different game. Because they're getting the shots, they just aren't falling right now. Here we go, second quarter on the way in. Bonded to Jace King, is going to get over to Cottingham. Swings to Andrew, down to Luke, is going to hit it across pass to Joe Cottingham. Working around, same offense. Luke with the quick spin. He's going to have a layup. A reverse layup. Luke with the quick spin. They can't stop him. They can't even contain him. Splits the double team. Gets it down low. Layup. It's not good again. Two points. Angel Rodriguez. King gets it to Andrew. He's going to work at the cutting end. Looked at three, but decided against it. 
Luke turns into the devil, has a cutting lander corner, wide open underneath, two points lander corner. Both teams getting good looks. The dribble drive, the three point shot in the corner is going to be off the top of the backboard. Rebound to Jamar, he's going to be pushing. Andrews looking for Jace, has him. No, no, nothing there. Gets it to Jamar, he's going to work it to Luke, who will shoot for three. Not good. It's going to be rebounded by Cottingham. Gets it up to Luke. He's going to work it over to Andrew, and they're going to reset. Down to Jamar. Ten-foot shot is good. Two points, Jamar Mitchell. Timeout on the floor. Got a 30-second timeout. Prairie View. So Lampkin still have the pedal to the metal. 25 to 10, up 15 here early going into the second quarter. 6.33 left till halftime, and the Lampkins are in firm control. Their defense is making their offense look good. At this juncture, we have Luke with 11 points and Andrew with 8. So the two leading scores are... Wax half and corner are going to work. Sticking with the starters at this point. Purview will take the ball out. Gets it into Salinas Johnston. Looking for the pick and the roll. Here comes the pick. Gets it to the popper. Lee with the three. It's going to be no good. Rebound in Prairie View. It's going to be up and good. Two points, Laquan Lee. No, I'm sorry. Number one score, but they don't have a number one on the program. It could be a problem. Chase King with the three point shots on the way and good. Three points, Chase King. Johnson looking for a pick. Doesn't get it. Dribbles in. Three-point shot attempt on the way. It's going to be no good. Rebound's going to go to Wagstaff. He's going to kick it out the corner. Brings it up. Kicks it outside. Jace King for three again. It's going to be no good. Rebound's going to go to Jamar. That's going to be out of bounds. It's going to be off of Jamar. And it will be for every ball. Checking into the game. Checking in the game, number one, Nicky McGuire is checking in for Joe Cunningham. So Nicky will take over guarding the point guard. He's got some quicks. Both kids are quick. Let's see who wins this one. Good solid defense. King picks him up up top. The dribble drive, the layup is going to be no good. Rebound's going to go to the tide. It got tied up, and it is going to be a jump ball, which will stay right here with the Thunderhawks since they got the ball at the quarter. Out of bounds play, trying to set them up underneath. Nothing there. Gets it in. We're going to run. Can't really find anything that they want. Takes the drive. Shot. Nope, doesn't do shot. That guy walked. Took two steps back. Shot blocked. It's going to be rebound to Mar Mitchell. It's a one on three. He's going to take the one on three himself. Then we'll get fouled. He got lucky. Jamar took on three guys in one. Or at least got to the foul line. 4.31 left in the quarter, 4.31 left until halftime. And we'll have another sub here in a second. Free throw attempt on the way is no good. Check in the game for the Lampkins. Number three, Alex Guzman will check in for Andrew Corner. And coming back in for the Thunderhawks is Randall Rogos. Ro Rogos, I don't know how to say his name. We're going to go with Rogos, even if it's wrong. Apologies if it is wrong. Jamar's second attempt is no good. It's going to be rebounded by Thunder Ridge. Uh, Thunder Ridge. 
Prairie View. I'm not sure where that came from. Looking for give and go, wasn't there? Chase with the tight defense. Guzman gets a blow by right into Jamar's hands. Andrew, Alex fouls him. Hammered him. Got the crowbar out. Give him a what for? So going to the line for two shots is going to be number two, Javon Bruden. A sophomore. First free throw attempt is on the way. It's going to be no good. 4-11 left in the quarter. 4-11. Rooting to the line for the second shot. Lines it up. No good. Rebound's going to go to Guzman. Going to try to push. Gets it to Jace. Swings it to Nikki. Back up to Luke. Over to Alex. Dual drive. Nikki in the corner. Gets it down to Jamar. He gets quickly double teamed and it gets poked away. Johnson with the full head of steam tries to take it in. Gets it stolen by Alex or Nikki. Gets it up top to Jace King who out jumps everybody. Hanks for the layup. Two point Jace King. The silky smooth Zohan move. King has some athleticism to him. Just a little bit or maybe a lot. Thought about it from three. Not there. The dribble drive. The blow by. It's going to be stolen. No, it's going to be a foul. Or no, it's going to be a walk. They called a walk. A couple subs into the game for the Lampkins are going to be number 20, Caden Elmore, and number 21, Joe Cottingham. Check in for Wagstaff and Mitchell. So a different lineup for the Lampkins. Up by 18 points in the uh, just over halfway through the second quarter. Gets it inside to Caden. Give and go to Alex. He gets it to Jace. Not there. Over to Nikki. Gets it to Cottingham, looking down low for Caden. Gets him out there, up top to Alex. Would have shot it if he had a better pass, but didn't. It's okay. King, dribble drive. The 12 footer is going to be no good. Caden with the rebound and the foul. Foul on Caden Elmore. Must have cleared him out with an elbow or something. So here comes Prairie View. Trying to work the ball around. Still playing five out. Ball is tipped. It's not over and back because Lampkin's got a finger on it. The dribble drive. Good defense by Nicky. Poke check. Got it back to him. Lee. Or that's not Lee. I'm sorry. That's Bruden. Cunningham with the steal and the foul. Got a little greedy with his hands. Picked up the foul. That's the Lampkins 14 foul with 2.23 left in the quarter. Or left in the half. I don't know if we're going to get to a 1-1, one -one, but you never know. Lampkins are still playing aggressive defense. Inbounded. The dribble drive. Caden with the ties him up. The shot, the foul, and the basket. Foul on Caden Elmore, his second foul. Two points, number 10. Rashawn Salinas Johnston is going to go to the line for one. Fruits attempt is good. Lankins bring it up. Get it to Nikki. He's going to look down low to Caden. Opts to go to Alex Guzman. The dribble drive. The kick to Cottingham. Thought about a three, but Joe Bezos line gets it to King. He's going to shoot the eight footer. It's going to be good. The shooter's touch. Jace King, two points. The pick's coming. Doesn't use it. Shot. Johnson misses. Rebound Guzman is going to kick it out to King. He's going to look the dribble drive. Kicks it over to Caden. Over to Alex. He dribble drives. The give and the go. Over to King. He's going to shoot. 
Pulls up from five feet. The floater is good. Jace King. We can't stop Jace. One fifteen left in the quarter. One fifteen left in the quarter. The drive. Guzman with the tight defense, but he gets a little bit of a layup. Two points, number 21. Ragos. Lampkins comes the other way. King's looking to shoot the three-point shot. It's up and good. Three-point shot. Chase King is on fire. 55 seconds left in the quarter. Nikki with the poke. Almost stole it. The rogue Ragos who tries to drive on Guzman. 35 seconds left in the quarter. The backdoor cut is going to go right into the big man. It's going to be a foul, and Johnson will go to the line for two shots. Corner is going to come back in the game after the first free throw. So going to the line number 10, Rashawn Salinas Johnston. It's three points at this point in the game. First free throw attempt is good. Alex Guzman takes a seat. Corners back in. Johnson can shoot some free throws. He's a pretty good free throw shooter. Good look on the line. Got good form. Nice and smooth. But missed that one at Jenkson. Tipped off the Fairview Thunderhawk. It's going to be Lampkin Ball with 30 seconds left. They'll have to probably take the last shot. In typical fashion, the Lampkins like to take the last shot with 30 seconds or less on the clock. I'm sure there's, this is going to be much of the same. Yep, they're just going to work it around. J oh, maybe not. Jace is feeling it. So we're not waiting for the last shot. I'm going to hit two more points here. Ten seconds left in the half. Ten seconds left in the quarter. The drive, the kick, the three-point shot at the buzzer is going to be no good. Rebound's going to go to the corner. And there it is. At the end of the first half, this is your four Collins line against 39. Prairie View, Thunderhawks, 18. We'll take a break and come back with first half stats in just a second. Looks like we're going to have some sort of a free throw shooting contest. This could be enjoyable. Seniors versus freshmen and sophomores. Our freshmen and seniors. This could be interesting.
All right, we're adjusting the camera. Sorry if you were, were not able to see some of the action because of those practice hoops. But hopefully we can tighten it up and see the court just a little bit better. All right. What? Thank you. Move it to the left. Keep going. Keep going. Now move it up just a little bit so you can see the basket. Okay, hold on. I'll check it. Okay, go to the right. All the way. Okay, that's good. 
Okay, I think we're pretty good with the camera angle again. Checking the first half stats. We have Jace King leading the way with 16 points. Followed by Luke Wagstaff with 11. Andrew Corner has 8 points. And Jamar Mitchell has 4. So quality first half for everybody around. Cunningham didn't contribute in the scoring column, but he played some really good defense. So there's two parts of the game, and you got to play both. Thanks for tuning in to the Lampkin Sports Network. We're going to get going here in about a minute and a half. Shout out to Patty and Jerry McGuire watching in Omaha, Nebraska. Hopefully you're enjoying the broadcast. Mike and Mella Brady and good old Fort Collins. I'm told from Mr. Mitchell that we have some visitor or some spectators in the Minnesota area who are checking out the broadcast tonight. Hopefully it's not freezing cold up there and you're doing well and thanks for tuning in. So at halftime, the Lampkins are in firm control of this ball game up by 21 points. Threat ending to run away with it. Prairie View's trying to take on a man-to-man -man defense by some picks and rolls, but their picks aren't sharp and their rolls aren't sharp. And they miss a lot of layups, so maybe they can turn around the second half and get it Make it a ball game. We'll see. The Lampkins defense is awful tough tonight. Not a bad crowd for a Friday night. A lot of students in the house. The Lamp Jack is rocking when the Lampkins are playing defense for sure. If you're out there and you're on a mobile device and want to use the live chat, I mean, I'm monitoring it. Can't answer any questions. Comments. No, get get so you can see five. It runs well to the wax staff. Tip out of bounds. It's gonna stay right here with the Collins Lampkins. Corner takes it out. Gets it up to King. He's gonna get it right back to him. Yes. Look underneath the loop, he's going to try to pick 2-3 zone by the Thunderhawks. Cottingham drives. Baseline. Two-point shot. Joe Cottingham gets on the board. Good defense is going to be off of Purview. It's going to, or off of, it's off of Purview. It will be Lampkin Ball. I'm not sure what happened, I'll be honest with you. I wasn't looking. Doing stats. Sorry. Wagstaff gets over to the corner. Gets it over to King. See if he stays hot. Nope. Gets his own rebound, though. Gets it down to Luke. Two points. Luke with the semi dunk. He might have got over two phone books that time. Good job, Luke. The big man. Tried to do the throw down. It was nice. Johnson with the tough driving shot and basket. Lampkins quickly the other way. Get it over to King in the corner. Over to Andrew. He's looking for Luke, but not there. He gets it to him. King is wide open in the corner. No good. Three by Jamar. Loses the handle. It's a scrum. And Prairie View comes away with the ball. Working it around. Tries to get out of the double team. Stolen by King. He's going to get to Jamar. Let him just a little bit too good. It's going to be a foul on the floor. Ragos with the foul on Jamar. Will be Lampkin ball underneath. 6.23 left in the third quarter. 6.23. Lampkin still putting the pedal to the metal. We have another foul. This time it will be on Prairie View. I couldn't tell the number. Can't read fingers from here. Collins gets the ball in. It's a lob to Cunningham. The alley-oop is nothing but net. So Cunningham with two more points. Which 
Jamar's guarding a guard, which is interesting. The big double team, Luke and Jamar, the big, the massive double team. He kicks it off with Luke's leg. That kid can't be more than about five foot seven or eight. Maybe shorter than that, but did the right thing and got the double team from the two big men and kicked it off a leg. Inbound pass to Johnson, who's going to try to take on Cottingham. Here comes the pick. Didn't roll. Andrew with the good defense. Chested him. And they reset. The blow by. Johnson with the smooth move. Two points. Rashawn Salinas Johnson. Luke with the quick spin. The pump fake. The foul. Going to the line for two shots. Will be Luke Wax there. He gets that quick move down there in the corner. It's tough to stop. Or down there on the block. If you're not ready for it, you can't stop it. First free throw attempt is on the way in. Rattles off. No good. Luke's having a hard time finding his range from the line tonight, but we're just starting the second half. You never know. He can get hot. Starts with one, and there it is. Johnson with the quick move. Not much of an outside shooter, but he goes to the basket like a banshee. Does again. The long three-point shot is going to be nothing but net. And Coach Dick does not like the looks of this. He shall call a quick timeout. So Bruton with the long three-point shot. Leads to a timeout by the Lampkins up. It is 46-25 with 5.26 left in the third quarter. Lampkins in firm control of the game. Coach just wanted to settle his kids down, I guess. Leading for some better effort on the defensive end. Lampkins can go into some lapses, especially when they get up in the third quarter and Coach wants to prevent that or prevent the other team from getting any confidence at all. So it'll be Lampkin ball going the other way. The Thunderhawks are going to drop back into a 2-3 zone. King brings it up. Looking to hand off. Gets it to Jamar. He's going to dribble drive. Splits the defense. Mishandles it, but gets the ball back. Turn around. No good. He's going to be rebounded by Thunderhawks going the other way. Up top. Bruton thought about it, then thought again. Got it. Johnson's going to be tipped. Stolen by corner. And it's a foul on Johnston. That was going to be a high level dunk. Cottingham can get up. He's going to slam that one down. That kid's a high jumper. Made the state tournament last year as a sophomore. I think he made the state tournament as a high jumper as a freshman as well. So that could have been a highlight worthy play, but to no matter. It's still Lampkin ball. Luke with the drive, the layup, the two points. The drive goes right into the right into Luke's chest. It's going to be a foul. Foul on Wagstaff with 4:31 left in the quarter. 4:31 left in the third. Johnson's going to the line for two shots. He's a good free throw shooter. First time, first attempt is good. Unofficially, that's his 10th point, but like I said, unofficially. And number 11. He said he can shoot his free throws. Don't want to foul that guy. King brings it up. Little confusion. Gets it stolen by Bruden. Does a Euro step. Gets it, <laughs> gets it swatted. He thinks he got fouled. Laying on the ground. Licking his wounds. Jamar tried to do the tip. Fred the alley Nothing there, but King with the Follow two points, Lampkins. Bruton is calling for the foul. He got hurt. He might be bleeding. No call. 
gets to come out of the game. Going to need some attention by the athletic trainer over there. And it will be Prairie View's ball. The Lampkins are up 23 points, but are going to put on the full court press. You know, why wouldn't you? You're only up 23 in the third quarter. You don't want to lose that lead. Timeout, Prairie View. So with 4:07 left in the third quarter, it is the Lampkins 20 or of 23 points up 50 to 27. 4:07 left in the third. The Lampkins are running away with it tonight. And are threatening to run away with the ball with the full court pressure. Don't want to be critical of the coach, but when you're up 23 in the third quarter and you're pressing, may not be the best option. But I'm not the coach. I just play one on YouTube. Keeping the starters in the ball game. See if he calls off the dogs here. Nope, he's going to press. Maybe not. Maybe he decided against it. Lampkins look like they're going to pick him up at half court. Well, they do a little bit of full court pressure, but... Here comes the pick and the roll. The pick is there. He blows by him. The roll wasn't there. Cross court pass. Going to be dribbled. Cunningham with the tight defense. Cuts him off at the baseline. It's going to be a foul on Joe Cunningham. I believe that'll be his third foul. He'll likely need to take a seat if that's his third. Coach is going to let him ride. It may be only a second. Inbound ball quickly to Ragos. Thought about the three-point attempt. Big Country comes in. Two points. The big man. Chavez. Jamar with the sweet save. Jim, Jay's tried to get the silky smooth move. and does not go. Slipped out of his hands. It's going to be... Should be Prairie View ball, but they're going to give it to the Lampkins. Maybe they think he got poked. Must have. I thought it went off of Jace, but... Ref see it the other way. The near steal. Cunningham gets it over to King in the corner. Gets it on the back staff with the turnaround. Layup no good. Rebound's going to go to King. Gets it to Luke. Try to get it to Luke again. Stolen. They're trying to get too fancy with it. The four on one break is going to be two points for Chavez. Lampkins are in a lull again. And we have a timeout. Coach Dick is not going to be happy about this. He sees his kids playing a little bit lax. Days ago, he's going to get into him a little bit. Personally, if I was him, I'd sub a few of these guys out and tell them to sit down and think about it for a minute. But, you know, that's just me. Like I said, I am not a coach. I just play one on YouTube. But the effort is not there this third quarter. Lampkins are trying to mail it in early. And they very well may walk away with this game easy, but they, they do not need to let up on their intensity on the half-court end. So it's a full timeout. 3.04 until the end of the quarter. 3.04 left in the third. Prairie View has four team fouls. Lampkins only have two at this point. And the starters remain in the game. King, Corner, Cunningham, Wagstaff, and Mitchell. It'll be Lampkin Ball on their half of the court. Inbound to King. Double team.
Corners looking down low, gets it into Mitchell. He's going to have to lay up two points to Jamar Mitchell. Just like that. And here come the Thunderhawks the other way. The pick, the roll's there if he wants it, but it's not. He doesn't want it. The dribble takes on the double team. Chavez with the long three-point shot. Not long three-point, but the normal three-point shot doesn't go. Baldy look, wouldn't fall. Cunningham with the drive. Gets bumped. Corner gets it to Jamar. He's going to shoot the 15-foot shot. It's going to be nothing but net. Two more points, Jamar Mitchell. That's his eighth point of the night. 54-31 with just over two minutes left in the quarter. Third quarter action here at the Lamb Jack. Working the ball a little bit. Almost on by Andrew. Chase helps on defense as is Luke. But this soft touch, it goes for Johnston. Luke's got a full head of steam. Dumps it off to Jamar. Power up. Two more points, Jamar Mitchell. He's in double digits. Minute and a half till the end of the quarter. Minute and a half left in th- third quarter, if I could talk. Gets it to the corner. Moving it around. In no hurry. Probin, there's the pick. The roll was not there. Now it is. If you want, nope. Cutting him, cut it off. To drive straight into the teeth of Jamar. The shot up is going to be no good. It's going to be rebounded by Wagstaff. Looking to run is Cottingham. To dribble drive. To layup. Two points to Cottingham. Forty seconds left in the quarter. Thirty seconds left in the quarter. Johnson with the drive. Goes into three guys, gets fouled by Jamar. Checking into the ball game for the Lampkins is number 20, Kate Nelmore. Into the game for the Hawks, number five, Noah Christopher Rados. Number 24, Eric Ali. And number 40, Angel Rodriguez. It'll be Prairie View ball underneath with 28 seconds left till the end of the quarter. Got the big man, not there. The dribble drive, shy to shoot, gets it. 19 seconds till, till the end of the quarter. Cottingham with the pick, he falls and that's definitely his third foul. until the end of the quarter. Sub in for the Lampkins, number one. Nicky McGuire is going to check in for Jace King. So King's going to get a little bit of a rest before the end of the quarter. Inbounds Johnson looking for the pick. The big man's trying to put on a huge pick. Doesn't use it. Nine seconds till till the end of the quarter. Three seconds, two seconds. One second. At the buzzer, it's going to be no shot. May have got a tip. No basket for the Thunderhawks, and we go into the fourth quarter with your four Collins Lampkins 58, Prairie View Thunderhawks 33. You're watching the Lampkin Sports Network. So through three quarters, unofficially, of course, we have Jace King with 18 points. Luke Wagstaff has 
16. Jamar Mitchell with 10. Andrew Corner with 8. Joe Cottingham with 6. Pretty balanced tonight for the most part. I mean, you know Luke and Jace are going to get their points, but Jamar's chipping in with 10 through 3 is a pretty solid effort. Coming out for the fourth quarter, it's going to be Dinky McGuire, Andrew Corner, Joe Cunningham, Caden Elmore, and Jamar Mitchell for the Lampkins. Both teams started the fourth quarter with four fouls, 14 fouls apiece, so three more fouls on either side, it'll be a one and one bonus. If ball goes inbound. Entry pass to Johnson, fighting through multiple picks. This is a big dude. Rodriguez almost gets over and back. I think he was a good defense. Nice move by Johnson. Kicks up top. Down on the baseline, looking underneath, looking for the layup, not there. Skip pass is going to go out of bounds. It's going to be Lampkin ball. Good defense by the Lampkins. Corner inbound the ball to Nicky. Right back to Andrew. He's going to look underneath. Trying to get Caden. Gets it over to Alex. Or no, I'm sorry. That's Jamar. Cunningham to corner to McGuire. To Cunningham. To Mitchell sharing the ball well. Underneath the cutting, or corner for the alley oop. Two points to Andrew Corner. That's his 10th point. So that'll be the fourth Lampkin in double digits tonight. Forty's going to try to set the massive pick. Doesn't get it. Nicky's going to try to steal it. Does not get that either. Double team. He's going to get over to the big man. Rodriguez gets it to the corner. Nothing there. Up to Johnson. Nothing there. Gets it to Rodriguez. He's going to use his... He's going to push his way around. He walked. Lampkin ball. 6.32 left in the quarter. Alex... Who's been checking into the ball game for Andrew Corner? So Coach Dick is finally going to his bench a little bit. Nicky brings the ball up. Looking up, trying to find Caden out there. To give him the go, Caden gets bumped. It's going to be out of bounds, and it will be a foul on Erica Lee. Number 24, Junior. It's going to be Lampkin ball underneath. Checking in in the ballgame, number two, Javon Bruinton. Or Bruden. It's going to check in for Johnson, who's played a heck of a game. Deserves, deserves a rest. He's working hard. Guzman takes the pass over to Stolen from Caden. Bruden's going to see if he gets, gets a layup. Hey, Guzman caught up to him. Near block. Nicky with the rebound. Gets it to Jamar. Takes the 15-foot shot. It's going to be no good. Rebound's going to go to the Lampkins. Nicky gets tripped. He's all right. Foul on Prairie View. He got tangled up. No harm. A foul, but no harm. So it'll be Lampkin ball. It's worth a chip at number five. Said he didn't mean it, shook Nikki's hand and said, Sorry, bro. Alex dumps it down. The Jamari's going to have a wide open 15 footer. No good. Rebound goes to the Lampkins. Nikki with the ball. Try to get it into Caden. No, it's not there. It's going to stay right here with the Lampkins. 550 left in the game. 550 left in the fourth. Cottingham looking for the alley up. Gets it to Jamar. Over to Nicky, down to Caden, he's wide open, doesn't shoot it. We're going to ball to Cottingham, he's going to try for three, it's going to be no good, rebound's going to go. Jamar with the tip, nice tip, rebound and basket, Jamar Mitchell. Quality offense. Jamar's coming alive in the second half. 5.30 left in the game. The backdoor cuts there, he's going to be triple teamed though, see if he can get out of there, shot. Somehow they call a foul. Not sure who they called that on. 
Either way, it's going to be number one who's unnamed is going to go to the line. First free throw attempt by number one is going to be no good. Sub into the game for Bruden is going to be number three, Laquan Lee. Number one, second free throw attempt is going to be no good. It's going to be rebounded by Jamar. He's going to get it to Nikki. He's going to set up some offense. Takes his man, gets a poke, gets it back. Over to Alex. Working the ball. Fred Daly up to Cottingham. Gets it out to Nikki. Triple drive. The floater. Two points, Nikki McGuire. Lampkins go up 31 points. Gets it into the big man. Kicks it out. It's going to be a three-point shot attempt on the way. Look good, but doesn't go. Rebound Jamar. Takes it too low. Gets it taken away from him. It's the number one. Nikki fouls number one instead of giving up a layup. He's going to make a marinade at the line since he just missed two free throws. That's probably a smart idea. Wagstaff checking back into the game. He's going to come in for Jamar Mitchell. 444 left in the quarter. 444 left in the game, I should say. Lampkins in firm control. Both teams right now have 16 fouls. Foul by either team will put the opponent on the line for a bonus. One and one style. Inbounded. Gets to the big dude. Somehow Nikki ended up on big country. Lee for three is going to be short. Rebound's going to go to Prairie View. Lee with the drive, the float. No good. Rebound's going to Wagstaff. Quickly out to Nikki. He's going to turn and burn. It's a stolen. Oh, and it goes off his leg. It's going to be Lampley Ball. Cottingham inbounds the ball. Gets over to Nikki in the corner. He's going to try a three point shot. Not there. Rebound. Cottingham not there. Rodriguez got hit in the fu- right in the mouth. He's holding his lip. Probably didn't like that a whole lot. Nobody does. The dribble drive. The floater. No good. It's going to be rebounded by Big Man. Kicks it out. He walked with it, but he got away with it. Shot in the corner. It's going to be three-point shot for number 24. Erica Lee for three. Nikki inbounds it to... Or entries into Alex, who gets it to Cottingham in the corner. Three-point shot attempts, no good. Rebound by Wagstaff, who's going to do a baby hook. Gets fouled. He's going to go to the line for two shots. 3.37 left in the game. Lampkins walking away with this tonight. Free throw attempt is on the way and good. Checking in the game right now for Fort Collins for Caden and Elmore is going to be number 25, Jackson Falkstead. So Jackson gets into the game. It's about time to unload the bench for the good old Lampkins and carry this to the finish line. The second free throw attempt by Wagstaff is good. Lampkins up 30. Lee with the dribble. Kick. Ali with another three-point attempt is good. Ali starting to heat up a little bit. Kuzma with the dribble drive. Gets it to Polk's head. It kicks out to Wagstaff. Going to take it himself. Tries the Michael Jordan move, but gets fouled. Do you see that? See Luke get off the ground there? He got up. Allegedly. I should make fun of the kid. He's a quality player. It's all in good fun. He got the foul. He's going to the free throw line. He no more checking in for Joe Cunningham. Uh, Luke's a good kid. Good basketball player. Not going to win any vertical contest, though. Tied up underneath. It's going to be a jump ball. It's going to stay right here with the four Collins Lampions. Kicking the game for Luke Wagstaff is going to be number 30, DeMarco Sanchez-Ferguson. 
So all the starters are off the court. 3.02 left in the game. I think he gets it to Falkstad. He takes a drive. He gets it back out to him. Behind the back. Cluster moves. Tied up. On the ground. It's going to be another jump ball. It's going to be... Prairie View ball. It was a jump ball. We didn't see if that was going to be a foul or just a jump ball. It was a scrum. A little bit of a battle. Neither team ready to give up any ground. That's why it's high school basketball. It's quality. 55 with the three-point shot attempt is going to be no good. Rebound's going to go to number one. Working the ball around. Get it to the lead. That gets hot. Three-point attempt. 55. Andrew Holman is nothing but net. Now they're going to triple-team the point guard. They're going to have numbers on the back end if they want them. Memphis patiently working the ball around. It's over to Guzman. He's thought about shooting threes. Gets in the game. Give in the go. Alex with the three-point shot attempt. It's going to be off. It's going to be rebounded to Jackson. Alex with another three-point shot attempt. It's going to be no good. Rebound's going to go to Prairie View. DeMarco steals it. Gets it back. Gets to Nikki. Over to Guzman in the corner. Not there. Takes the drive. Shot. Won't go. Rebound. He's working hard for this. Who's been selling out? Volume shooter, this guy. 147 left in the game. Who's been going to go to the line for two shots? Checking into the ball game for number for Nicky is going to be number 14, Trey Young. He's going to see some action tonight. Who's been going to the line for one and one? Your throw attempt is good. I believe every Lampkin has gotten into the game now, which is nice. Alex's second free throw attempt is good. Two points on the board for Alex Guzman. The blow by, the drive, the hang, the shot, two points. Laquan Lee. No more gets it to Guzman. Over to Folksad. Gets hammered. Don't call. They're going to let him play. Caden tries to get it. Nothing. Stolen by Prairie View. The long outlet. Holman looks at three. Decided against it. It's tipped. It won't be over in the back because it was tipped off the Lampkins. Oh, I thought it was tipped off the Lampkins. I was wrong. It would be Fort Collins' ball. Over and back. Or some sort. One eleven left in the game. Lampkins are going to walk away with this easy victory tonight. Inbound to DeMarco. He's going to get it up to Alex. The dribble drive. Started to do the alley but it got knocked away. It's going to be Fort Collins' ball. 104 in the game. 104 until the game is over. Folks said, skies for the ball. This is Young. He's over to DeMarco. He's going to take his guy. Kicks it out. Folks said, Trey Young's going to have a wide open three point shot. No good. The rebound's going to go to the Fairview, but it's off of Zan. And Caden tries to steal it. Bumped it. Off of Fairview. It's going to stay right here with the Lampkins. 48 seconds left in the game. Marco enters. Entry pass over to Alex. This is Jackson. Looking underneath. Going to drive. Hangs. Shot. Foul. Jackson Folk selected line for two shots. 41 seconds left in the game. First free throw attempt by Folk Stat is going to be good. Second free throw attempt is good as well. Two points for Jackson. Lee with the quick moves. This kid's got some moves on moves. Foul on Lampkins. For some reason they fouled with 31 seconds left. They 
kids are just getting some playing time, get a little ahead of themselves. Sends Lee to the line for two. First free throw attempt is good. He's got some quickness, got some heart, number three, Laquan Lee. Looks like he's only about five foot five out there. He's not a big kid, but he's got moves. Can make free throws, made them both. Young brings it up. He throws a folks dad. Lankins don't really need to do anything but just hold on to the ball. 20 seconds left in the game. Folks dad goes right down Broadway. Gets fouled. Shot attempt is no good. He's going to go in line for two more shots. 19 seconds until the game is over. Folks dad to the line's first shot is going to be good. Third free throw made in a row. He's on a roll. Second attempt is going to be long. Rebound's going to go to Caden. They can just sit on this if they want. See what they do. Ten seconds left. Gives it out to Young. They're just five. They're just going to let it run it out. And there you have it. Fort Collins Lampkins are victorious tonight. The Lamp Shack was rocking. So live from the Lamp Shack, exciting affair tonight. The Lampkins walk away with the easy victory, 72-46. Quick stats, if I add them up, give me a half a second. Just leave it. So unofficially, of course, we have Luke Wagstaff leading the way tonight with 19 points. Jace King chipped in with 18. Jamar Mitchell had 12. Andrew Corner had 10. Joe Cottingham with 6. Jackson Folkstead with 3. Andrew Guzman with 2. And Nicky McGuire with 2 points as well. So Next game for the Lampkins will be on Tuesday night at 6.30. I'll have to look up and see who they're playing and where they're playing, but I know it's Tuesday. They play Tuesday, Friday, Saturday next week. We'll be live for all the action. Well, Friday we'll be at the girls' game. So anyway, live from or from the Lamb Shack, Fort Collins picks up their 11th win of the season and are victorious, 72-46. You've been watching the Lampkin Sports Network in association with Nighthawk Burgundy Productions. Thanks for your, your viewership. Have yourself a great night and a safe weekend. Over and out.